about uh, Marisha's efforts to expand the financial sector? What in particular has changed in recent years? I think, uh, first of all, there's been a lot of change on the macroeconomic front in Mauritius. We really modernized the economic infrastructure. We've also come up with major economic reforms so as to set Mauritius on the high growth path. And within that environment, of course, the financial sector has grown quite substantially. It's a sector that is growing on an annual basis about 11%. And uh, this growth is driven uh, by uh, the growth of the gl global business sector in Mauritius. You know, Mauritius is growingly being used as a platform to service Asia. Uh, there's a lot of money that is being raised in, uh, in, uh, in Europe, in the US, and invested in India. And because Mauritius has a double taxation treaty with India, therefore it makes Mauritius an ideal platform for people to set up companies to invest uh, 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 in India and in the Asian markets. What's been the challenge? When you grow rapidly, there are always growing pains and challenges. What has yeah. been the greatest challenge of managing that so it's sustainable? I think uh, it's the main challenge has, has been to maintain, as you say, the mm -hmm. growth tempo at the macroeconomic level at 5%. Why? Because uh, year in and year out at 5%. Why? Because uh, Mauritius faced what we call the triple shock in 2004-2005, first with a huge increase in the, uh, in the price of oil, and because we are a major importer of oil, so this had a m big impact on, on our uh, current account balance in Mauritius. Secondly, uh, Mauritius had relied for a long time on what we call the preferential sugar protocol with Europe. And this has ended since 2007, uh, 2006, which means that today we are selling our sugar on the world markets and therefore the price that we are getting right now is 30% less than what we used to get. Thirdly, uh, uh, Mauritius' growth has relied for a long time on ma the manufacturing sector. And today with the emergence of China, Bangladesh and so on, and with the huge economies of scale that they can derive, you know, a small country like Mauritius is not competitive relative to those countries. So we've had to reinvent ourselves. And explain to me, you, you seem to be setting yourself up as the bridge, yes. as you said earlier, yes. uh, to India, to China, two of yes. the biggest markets. Yes. How exactly is, does that work? I mean, what's the pitch you give to investors? We tell investors uh, investing into India and China that we've got a, a big competi competitive edge mm. in terms of locating their, their businesses in Mauritius and use Mauritius as a springboard to, to invest in those countries. Why? Because we've got double taxation treaties, which is very beneficial. We've got a very flexible and open economy. There is no exchange control at all. Mm. We've got a regulatory framework which is English-based. So anybody who is an international investor feels really at ease whenever he's doing something in Mauritius because it's easy to understand what the regulatory framework is all about. What do you think you've learned from the global financial crisis that as, as you expand and as you diversify in this area, uh, you know, you perhaps have the benefit of, of seeing what happened um, and what to avoid? Yes, I think uh, we, we see the, uh, the, the global uh, financial crisis as showing a lot of challenges, but also a lot of opportunities uh, for us, I mean, for us and for Africa. In terms of the challenges, I think uh, uh, we've had to, uh, you know, face the dwindling uh, investments. People have become very worried, but we also see a lot of opportunities. Why? Because what is, what is happening right now is that the Western world is hardly growing in terms of GDP growth. I mean, Everybody expects Europe mm -hmm. and the U.S. to grow between 0 and 1 or 2 percent, which is fantastic. Whereas the growth is shifting towards uh, Africa and towards the Far East, and this is where we're going to get more eyeballs on our uh, exchange, on our countries, and therefore we think that there will be more and more money flowing into this region of the world, which will then you know, help us grow at a faster pace. Right.